let's get started. Well, hello everybody. Welcome to today's newcomers call. It's good to have you all join the call today and the community. All right, so we have a culture of doing a quick introduction because this is the newcomers call. So we want to really get to know you. If you've done an introduction before, it's fine. You can still do one here. So we're going to like just go through a loop. I'll start. I'll tell you about myself, about how my day is going. And then I'll pass it on to the next person until you get to the last person. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, hello and welcome to today's call. My name is Anita Human, and I am a meshmate. I've been contributing to the community for a while. I'm a React developer as well. Yes, so um, my day is going very well. I've been trying to learn a new course. I'm excited about it because I've not actually learned something in a while and I'm taking on a new course. So I'm really excited about it. Wish me luck. <laughs> yes, so um, over to you, Amit. Can you tell us about yourself, where you're calling from and um, how your day is going? Amit Kumar, did I get the pronunciation right? <laughs> okay, you might be having a mic difficulty. And should you like, would you like to go, go first? Can everyone hear me though? Just to confirm. Hello, Anita. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, am I audible now? Yes, you're audible. Uh, sorry, so I think there was some mic issue. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm Amit Kumar Sharma and uh, I belong to India. And I'm currently working as a DevOps engineer uh, in one.com. It's an hosting company in Denmark. So uh, I look after the stuff, CI, CD, pipeline, monitoring, all these things. And yeah, so my day is going pretty well. So I'm done with uh, my daily job. And I was, I will, after some time, I'll work for uh, my workout for health, uh, for good health. And I'm like looking forward for uh, some contribution, some meaningful contribution in on layer five. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Just hang in there. Um, new issues will be coming around soon. So welcome to the community. It's good to have you here. So you can just call any person to go next. Okay. Hi, Anita. I guess I'll go next. Oh, uh, hi. Welcome. I am Hasna from Dhaka, Bangladesh. And uh, I have completed my bachelor's recently. And it's been a week that I have been into the Layer 5 community, but I haven't uh, actually contributed yet. And uh, I am looking forward to contribute it. And recently, I have completed my internship as an outreach intern at Mozilla. And uh, I am looking forward to contributing open source community more. So here I am at the Layer 5 community. Oh, welcome to the community. I know you've been here for a week, but yeah, I was still welcome to the community. It's good to have you here. Yes, yeah, so I just call anyone to go next. Okay. Yeah, um Krishna, do you want to do a quick intro? Hi guys, Krishna here from India. I'm a, a, a freshman in engineering at computer science, Bangalore. Uh, and uh, yeah, I freeze layer five through winning a few hackathons uh, because I got a uh, offer here. And yeah, I am very interested in 
machine learning and uh, and this golan everything is a new thing and i'm learning them and uh, pr pretty sure soon i'll learn them and i want to uh, contribute more to the layer 5 thank you thank you have a nice day okay you're welcome krishna good thing you're not the only one learning so yeah i'm learning as well i because i'm taking is on kubernetes and more of this service mesh lane i'm just watching random youtube videos though but i just want to get a deeper understanding so yeah it's a good thing we're all learning <laughs> okay and should you want to give a quick intro yeah sure hello am i audible yes yeah uh so hey everyone uh myself and shuman kumar prasad basically from the like obviously from you know uh, india and uh, i'm currently pursuing my btech or maybe underground undergraduate you can say uh, from uh, uh, shishankaracha technical campus on you know uh, uh, sorry for the business uh, on uh, it basically information technology so called junior information technology services and uh, yeah i'm here from you know uh two or three months back and contributing to the community and contributing to the machinery and yeah hey anita nice to meet you all right yeah it's good to have you yeah. join us and she's not new to the community but yeah it's always good to have the old faces around too yes so welcome to the layer five newcomers call if you've been here or this is your first time you're still welcome and you're always welcome to stay and bring in your inputs yeah so this call is not restricted to just newcomers both persons who have been here for ages always come in once in a while to say hello to the newcomers and do an introduction just like anshu has yes so yeah on this call we have we provide answers to your questions your doubts give you the resources that you need take on your suggestions and um, your ideas that you have that my best improve our community and yeah also hear your story just like you all have done a quick intro it was really nice hearing from how everyone of you got into the community yes yeah, so that's what this call is all about but um, i'm going to leak a secret we're work we're planning on doing tutorials on this course so it's not just I'm telling you about the community. We also show you how to get started with any of our projects, how to install Meshri, for instance, how to get started with uh, Meshri CTL. So, yeah, so by next week, we'll be having um, those, one of them here. So just get yourself ready. But yeah, this call has so many things. And um, this call takes place every Thursday by this time. And um, like I say, we talk about everything and anything that helps you and your journey in the community. So um, I'm sure you must have come across the word called mesh mate in layer five when you're wondering what exactly a mesh mate is. Well, simply puts a mesh mate as um, a mentor or a guardian that helps you on your path to um, layer five and the community at large. So a mesh mate is there to answer your questions, to clear your doubts, provide the necessary resources that you need. You just hold your hands as you walk through your contribution journey to layer five. Yes, yeah, so that's what a mesh mate is. And um, you can actually request for a mesh mate if you feel you need a helping hand in getting around layer five and our project. So you can always request for a mesh mate by dropping a message in Slack or reaching out to them personally that you would want them to, you know, mentor you on your path to contributing to layer five. And that is just about getting the mesh mate. It's not so difficult. So you can always reach out to the mesh mates anytime you're having a confusion towards an issue or you hit the hard points and you need a better explanation a mesh mate is the best person to contact in such situations or you can just drop your questions in the slack channel and we will still answer to that yes yeah, so um let's quickly look at uh, the overview of our website's project majority of the layer five projects uh, are run on jq 
most of our front end project run on GQ. It's um, Meshri, for instance. It's one of our projects that just got accepted into the CNCF, which is a, a top ops for us. Yeah, so Meshri also runs on GQ. And uh, if you, you're good with React, you're good with the front end tools and libraries, generally, you can contribute to this. You don't have to be an expert in any front end tools. Once you have an idea of basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you can make a contribution to any of our projects. Um, my network is going to be slow, so pardon me for that. You do, yeah, this is what a metric project looks like. It's taking time to load and, um, but you can look at measure at your own convenience. Yes, so there's so many things you can explore on our website. You, um, resources on this end, then you can look at the blog. And if you want to get started with running measure on your end or installing measure, you can just look over the docs and that will give you all that you need to get started with measure. And also, if you want to check out the metry docs.io, yeah, so this is documentation that follows the metry project. So if you need a quick talk about metry, what metry is all about, how to install metry, getting started, or contributing to metry, and um, everything about the metry project generally is can be found in the documentation. It's really friendly and um, it's a good resource for you to look at at your own convenience as well. So if you have questions regarding measure, you can also look at the FAQs. We are still working on this particular issue. We're trying to get more um, frequently asked questions on here. So just look out for that. But yeah, this is the best place to get a deeper understanding of measure. You can also look through articles on the website regards measure to better understand the project. Then we have the service mesh performance. Yeah, that this website also is built on Jekyll. And like I said, if you have basic understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, that is enough to make a good contribution to any of our projects because Jekyll is not as complex as it's not even as close to complex as JavaScript. So you can always pick up any of our projects and get started with it. We also have the Get Night Hawk project, which is just a boarding project we just started recently. If you're looking for a project that you want to grow in and grow with for a deeper understanding, this is a perfect place to get started. The Get Night Hawk project just started um, a couple of months back. And there's still so much improvement to be done on it. The, the, um, UI, for instance, it has so much. If you're good at design or you have an idea of design, then we would need your input on this project. You can follow up on the front end of our website on the weekly website meeting. It happens every um, Mondays. You just subscribe to the calendar and you get notified once the website meeting takes place. But yeah, there's so much that can be done here. So if you have an idea of design or you're good with the front end, just check out this project. This is a good place to contribute. And then we have the layer5.io website, which is um, which runs on Gatsby, which is not very much different from React if you're familiar with React. So it's still on the same level. You can get started with that. You can also look through the Figma design. If you don't have access to this, just request for access on Slack and I'll get you access to our Figma design. So you can look through the project design layout and what and what is missing and the best place you can, you know, give your best inputs. Yes, so um, we usually have, prior to this time, we actually have tutorials on this course. So we just give you a quick call. And I told you we're resuming that next week. Yes, so I'm so excited about it because everyone gets to learn. I have to, I also get to learn because I've been meaning to like follow up on some of the tutorials for so long. But yeah, I get to learn as well. So I'm excited about it. Yeah, so we, we have 
hands on tutorials that have already been recorded regarding mesh-free, regarding um, service mesh performance and other projects. So we have them saved on our Catacoda website on the Catacoda site. So you can check out if you want to learn more on meshes, uh, meshery and service meshes, and also uh, meshery and performance testing. So you can just, within this course, there are like several other, there are several other places to get started. So you can just explore your knowledge and uh, expand your knowledge regarding meshery and service meshes using this link. And also, we also have a quick get get start get um a quick get started getting started tutorials. Yes, that's it. A quick getting started tutorials so that are available. Get started on. manual. <laughs> yeah. Thank get you. Get started manual to the new class. It sounded so wrong. <laughs> Thank you. Very Addi much. Yeah. Additionally, I am just sharing every every link on the chat. So make sure to check that out. Every, every link yes. is uh, there up on the chat. Yep. Oh yeah, thank you for that. Yes, yeah, so this um, web, this link here takes you to our getting started memo, and you can see your con your journey into the community. We are planning to extend this onto the part where you actually get earn a badge in the community because we actually have badges, and I bet you don't know that. So we have badges that we issue to contributors based on your commitment to a project. And also, you we want to extend these pathways to where you actually get to earn a mesh made title or earn a maintainer title. Yes, so we're going to extend that. But this is um, just a rough explanation of what your journey into the community is going to look like. Then if you come down here, you see a, a form, a member form. If you've not filled that, the, I would send you a link in the Slack channel. But there's a link on this doc. Yes, to the link on here. So if you've not filled in a community member form, just fill in that link quickly so you can have access to all of our docs and we can also like get to know more about you. So you can see the um, tutorials down here. Yeah, we have the recordings and the slides that are already listed out here. So you can actually go through this at your own convenience and watch tutorials on Gatsby, Tutorials on layer five, tutorials on Meshri CTL, and even the contributing to Meshri Swagger documentation. Yes, yeah, so there's so many um, videos to watch just to help you, you know, have a smooth journey towards contributing to layer five and then using our project. Yeah, so you can look through that at your own convenience. And then down here we have a project overview. We have both the front end project and the back and the, the back end project. So whichever one that fits your qualification or your whichever one your strengths best fit in, it's all up to you. And um, you can actually look through this this um, repository overview to see more of our project. So recently we had we had to um, divide our project. They were all just in one big um, GitHub file. That's a GitHub project, which is layer five, but we separated the meshery and the, the service mesh performance into different um, projects on their own as a result of this getting um, onboarding into the CNCF. Yes, yeah, so you might see more than just one link, but that's fine. It's still a part of our project and it still represents layer five. So if you're contributing to either the mesh project, just know you're still contributing to our project. If you're contributing to the service mesh patterns project, you're still contributing to layer five. If you're contributing to the service mesh performance project, you're still contributing to layer five. So whichever one of these four you pick interest in and want to like focus your energy on, that's all up to you. But all the same, you're still contributing to layer five community at large. So we have the front end project and the back end project. On the front end project, you see the layer 5.io, the website with um, layer 5 website. Okay, still on that, my network is still very, very poor and shaky. Yes, yeah, so we have the mesh reader. IO, like I said, it runs on Jekyll. 
So you don't have to be an expert in JavaScript or React or Gatsby to actually make contributions to this. You just have to have the basic knowledge of how to use Git and um, basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And you can make really, really tangible contributions to this project. Yeah, then. And we have the documentation. If you feel you're good with um, putting together documentations or you feel the urge to contribute to that, you can look at um, the documentation, the ministry documentation, and then find the best ways you can actually make improvements to that website. Then we have the Savage Mesh um, Performance website, the Meshry UI, that is also the front end project. You can look at that. My I don't think the network likes me. <laughs> but I really wanted to show you that, but it's, it's really poor. So please do well to look at it at your own time. Then we have the mesh sync and the mesh map. So you can look at this. It's also a good front end project to like put in your energy in. And then the Get Nighthawk project, like I pointed, there's so many things that can be done to this project. Just bring out that creativity and, um, you know, do it. Just do it. The project needs you and um, we need a project. <laughs> yeah, then down to our discourse.io. So we recently created a discourse platform. I'll come to that. But yes, this is the repository to that particular discourse platform. So you can look through this if you want to make contributions to that. There are actually issues that get created on there too. So then we're working on the layer five, the Learn Layer Five project. So on this project, you get you don't only come to the community to contribute and then make fix code or improve the documentation. No, we want you to actually go through the pathway of learning Layer Five, like coming out of Layer Five with the full knowledge of what service meshes are, what meshery is, how to uh, configure meshery on your own. And yes, I want to give a full dose of that. So we're working on the Learn Layer 5 project where you get to learn all about Layer 5. I'm excited about it. Yeah, but yeah, we're working towards that and you can find out more about this on the Learn the Layer 5 website itself. All you have to do is just, yeah, just do layer5.io slash learn ng. And it takes you to this. Yeah, so we're working towards soon. Soon this is going to be out. You actually earn a certificate for taking on these courses, this, which is another exciting part. So you can add that to your resume. So just look forward to this. And we need a lot of contributions to this because we need it out as soon as possible. We need everyone to start learning. Yeah, so if you, if you go through the Figma design, you see there's so many things that are left pending that could be implemented on the Learn Layer 5 project. So you can just go through that at your own. Um, the Figma design, which I pointed, you can check out this link here for the Figma design. And then you can look for the best ways you can implement changes to the Learn Layer 5 project. And then on the back end, we have the Meshery, which is um, a project that runs on Golang. So if you're good with Golang or you're getting started with Golang, or you just have an idea of Golang, then this is also a good place to get started in. Then the Learn Layer 5, the back end of it, is to use this Golang. So you can check out this link here to have to check to see the best ways you can contribute to that project. Then the Meshery operator, which also runs on um, Golang as well. Yeah, and then several other repositories in the community I just can't mention every single one of them right now. But there's so much repositories that have open issues, or even if there are no issues available right now, subsequently, definitely there'll be issues coming up. So all of these repositories are out there. And so if you're looking for anywhere to focus your energy and get your hands dirty, I'd advise you just take out time and explore our project. Just do a quick tour. I know this is a this is also a tour, but yeah, a quick tour around that project to understand everything better. Yeah, so that's just about the project overviews. If you look down here, yeah, we're supposed to have a quick demo. I mentioned that, but it's starting next week. So 
by next week you probably see uh, the demo that we'll be expecting and who'll be taking it so members of the community will be volunteering to actually lead us on that so i look forward to it i hope you do too and then if you didn't know or if you didn't notice most of our calls are recorded so we actually save this. These are like our little treasures. We save this for future purpose. So if you miss any of the calls, you can always go back. Just like um, next week, for instance, if you're unable to meet up with the newcomers call for next week, but then you want to actually watch the demo that will be taking place next week, you can go back to this playlist and you will see the, the recordings for that week and you can just catch up on it. So that's, um, that's why I call them our treasures. Just so you don't have to actually miss any of our meetings, just subscribe to our calendar and you get notified in any meetup that comes up within the community. And uh, also, if you come down here, you see there's um, a questionnaire that is meant to help you get started. So if you feel you're good in a particular area, either Golang or JavaScript, HTML, CSS, React, DevOps, or you want to drop a talk regarding that, just quickly write your name down here. I'll um, do my best to drop you the, all the resources in the community regarding that area you, you picked, just to help you get started and um, give you a very great contributing experience in the community. Yes, so that is just about the tour up to layer five. Then I mentioned earlier that we're working towards giving you all the resources to get started. Yes, so there's a quick, questionnaire down here that, that you're welcome to fill. So this questionnaire is going to get is going to give us an idea of the resources that you need to help you and to help improve your journey towards layer five. Okay, so you can just take our time and fill in this questionnaire. So we have an idea of the courses that you need, the videos that you need to actually help your contributing journey and then next to that you see there's a, a tutorial record into the list so we've actually listed out some um tutorial requests yes so people have requested and uh, we answered and we're working towards that so in a few weeks you definitely be seeing new video tutorials on our youtube platform and uh, i mentioned about our discourse forum the last time yeah, I mentioned about our discuss forum. So um, because of uh, the Slack integration and everything, uh, Slack has been slacking in a way that if you notice, sometimes you drop a message and then two weeks after your message is nowhere to be found or somebody gave you a link to a particular documentation and then two weeks after you don't, you can't find that link anywhere. So it just, it just vanishes into the abyss. So we, we're tired of losing links, we're tired of losing good input we are tired of losing those amazing ideas to slack and uh, want to save all that so we created discuss forum and the discuss forum is here to get to get all your discussions all your questions or your suggestions everything that you want to discuss about layer five about meshry about meshry ctl get my hook any of the projects you want to discuss about yeah, so you can just drop a suggestion um on the discuss forum you can just create an account. So if you have a question that you know it's going to benefit everyone in the community, this is the best place to ask that question. So we don't have to miss out on all the um, ideas and answers that come under that thread. Yes, so you can just create um, an account on Discuss and ask your questions and um, your suggestions, bring in your suggestions as well. So that is what Discuss Forum is for. So please do well to create an account on there. And we're currently working on a community handbook. So I know this, this quick tour I just did now, is like, um, it would have been much easier if you had a handbook to actually help you get started. So we want to put all of the documents and resources that you need together in a handbook. We already have a sketch of what the handbook is supposed to look like, but we're currently working on putting it on the website itself. So if you know you're good at documentation or you want to contribute to the handbook project, either by setting out the, uh, arranging the layout and the UI of this handbook, you can just drop a message in Slack 
and I'll fill you in on what, how far we've gone and the best place you can put your inputs. So, but you can also look through this handbook if you have any more questions regarding the community and it will also help you get started. Yes, yeah, so that is just about um, layer five. And if you've seen this project, you're wondering what exactly are these pictures. So this is layer five. And these are all of the, the projects that we run under layer five. You can see there are about um, six of them, seven totally plush meshery. Yes, yeah, so those are all of the projects that are run under layer five, the service meshes that we have in the layer five community. Yes, so that's what that picture is all about. And um, if you come to the top of this newcomers um, minute, you will see that we have a calendar I mentioned earlier. If you're not subscribed to our calendar, please do well to subscribe. We don't want you missing any meeting and missing any of the fun. So just subscribe so you get to catch up on all of that. If you have not joined our Slack channel, here's the link to get you started. Sorry, excuse me. And also our GitHub repository. So you can just check out our GitHub and um, please do well to start our project. We appreciate all your stars, all your likes, all your shares. Yes, so please start our project on GitHub because every star counts. And then our YouTube channel, like I said, record our um, meetings. Not only that, on our YouTube channel, you will see both meetings, you will see events that have been held in layer five. You see um, meetups that we just randomly had in the community. So we put all of those treasures on our YouTube channel for you and everyone in the community. So you can just refer to those YouTube channels and um, feel yourself on anything you've missed in the community and also our Google Drive. So this has all of the documentations in the community all of the guides in the community. Most of them are written in the drive. And if you don't have access to this drive, it's probably because you've not filled in the community member form. And you can still do that by um, going through this link and then filling it so we can get to know you better. And um, by this end, you will see the first timers guide. If you came through Slack, I must have shared this to you, but you can still look through the first timers guide at your own convenience if you don't have it. Then the welcome new Newcomers guide. So this is for newcomers to give you a quick uh, intro to layer five, and then a repository overview, which I went over a few moments back. Then, if you're looking for good, friendly issues, I know everyone wants to contribute so badly. I I was so eager to make my first contribution when I first joined the community. So if you're looking for where to get started, the good first issues sums up all the issues. Um, in the community from different repositories. So if you're looking for where, if there's no issue available right now, that is fine. You can just check in next time and definitely you'll see an issue because we keep updating the repositories with new issues. So, and if they're assigned, we'll definitely create new ones. Just stay tuned. I can, I always drop some of the issues in Slack as well. So you don't get to miss out on the good issues. Yes, yeah, so also there's a help wanted issue link. So you can just check this for the issues that are labeled help wanted in the community to, you know, ease you the stress of waiting for a new issue. And then um, down here we have our Twitter and our LinkedIn platforms. So yes, yeah, so you're welcome to layer five. So another way to be an ambassador of layer five is by following us on our YouTube channel and our Twitter handles uh linkedin platform so if you've not done that please 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 be well to follow us share your content tag us in um, informations you know we want to get to engage and we want you to engage on our linkedin and our twitter platform so yeah please do well to like follow and share our content yeah so that is just about a quick tour to layer five if i missed anything Please draw my attention. But I've been doing a lot of talking, so I want to hear from you now. So the floor is open. If you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, if you if you, if there was a point I didn't clarify properly, you can drag me back and I'll be happy to go over it again. Yes, so any questions? <laughs> 
uh, Anita, no question, but uh, thank you very much for this very nice introduction. So I will oh, definitely yeah. go to the links you shared. Uh, uh, actually, Ansu also thank you. So we we'll go through this and as soon as possible, I will see who uh, we can issue the first issue. All right, all right, all right. You're welcome. I'm, I'm glad I could help. Any questions? So. Okay, uh, so I think someone has just been on the chat. I think Krishna has told okay. that I have installed Meshri CTL and it tell open cmd xc i i, I think uh, he has some you know uh, trouble installing message here in uh, his local pc so i think uh, we have many folks and the slack channel as well for appropriate check slack channel for message ATL and you can just hop there and ping to us that what are the issues you are gonna uh, you know facing by installing message ATL. so we are definitely gonna help you there Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry I missed that. If you're having difficulties, you can get to it. We can help you and address your issues. Yeah, because I, I really don't think I'll be the best person to explain that to you. You might not get the, the best explanations from me, but I'll definitely refer you to the best place to get the right answers. So you can do that in the Slack, like um, Anshu mentioned, or you can also use Discourse Forum. So that every other person who has that same issue and wants to refer to it can always go back to your questions that you ask. So just think of it as you'll be helping so many other persons that have that same issue in the future. Okay, so you can drop your question on Discuss and still drop it on uh, Slack, whichever one best fits you. Um, and any more questions? Questions, suggestions, ideas, your thoughts. If I was, if I didn't do well explaining, please point me out. I'll definitely go over it again. I just want to help your journey uh, be as smooth as yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah, Nita. So I have a question like. Uh, I'm currently working at full time at some company. So, like, is there any script uh, timeline I have to complete some issue, open issue I need to complete in specific time timeline or something? Sorry, so I missed that. Yeah. So I will repeat. Like, I'm full time working at some other company. So yeah. as query contribution, uh, I there can be like some hectic week at my work. So. That's why I, I couldn't uh, contribute time to uh, layer five. So isn't there any problem related to this uh, in terms of uh, any strict timeline or uh, to solve the problem? Oh, no, not at all. Well, layer five is an open source project. Yes, yeah, so yeah. you can actually contribute whenever you have the slightest of opportunities. So if you have um, a 30 minutes break from your current job or your current position right now you can always come back here and find an improvement to make so you don't you, you don't really have time um so you don't have to deal with the time conflicting and like i said if you can't meet up with our meetings because of the time conflict you can always go back to our youtube channel to catch up and then come back to slack so we can discuss better on the topics that you feel you want to suggest on okay okay thank you yeah. Any more questions? Please just ask the question. <laughs> Okay, and um, yeah, let me just point this out. It's not so much of a big deal, but I just want to point this out. So if you're 
new to contributing and you've probably picked your first issue and you come across the DCO error just before you come across the DCO check i just want to point it to you the first place you should um, draw your attention to if you pick any issue should be the contributing.md file this is because it has all the steps to first of all installing cloning the project and then installing and also the steps to actually running this project on your system so you don't have to encounter errors on the way and then by the time you're done making your changes yes don't forget to sign off and this is boldly written here so the sign off is an uh, indication that yeah you you are the one that actually made this comment so it's giving you the right over the, the comments you made but also protecting us as a, a community yes so this a simple sign off goes on like this so you don't have to do a lot of googling this is what a simple sign off looks like so you just had add a dash x to your commit message and then you're good to go this is save you from every other issues or errors that you might experience from the dco checks yeah just a heads up and um like i said don't forget to start our projects <laughs> so that is just all if there is um any other question the floor is open Okay, so since there is no question, I'd like to add that we usually have, there's so many meetings that go on in the community. So if you're joining anyone depends on your interest and um, which areas you want to best contribute in. So we usually have the weekly website meeting, which I mentioned, it takes place every Mondays. So if you want to contribute to our front end project and improve on the UI of any project, either design or code base, that is the best place to focus your attention on the uh, the website the website call takes place every mondays then on wednesdays we have the meshry development meeting so everything regards meshry and the project itself we discuss it on wednesdays so and then on uh, on thursdays like i mentioned we have the newcomers call and then fridays we come together as a community so we have the general community meetings every friday don't forget to attend tomorrow's own. We are going to have a proper introduction so everyone in the community gets to know you and welcome you. So please don't forget to join tomorrow. I want to see you all there. So don't forget to subscribe to our calendar if it's not just to get updated on these meetings. That is just about the quick tour to layer five. And see more of you in the community. Thank you all for joining. You're welcome to join next week as well. You're welcome to invite your friends and um, yeah, just do a quick story about layer five out there. So thank you for joining this meeting and thank you for joining layer five community. Hope to see more of you and your contributions. Bye everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay, see you on Slack.